you know, it kind of seems like um, everywhere we go, uh, people just aren't happy, you know, and, and I know I, I feel like this a lot of the time too, you know, you, you look around, it's like everybody is trying to convince other people that, you know, they're happier than them, um, all the while wondering why they're not happy, and it just, I mean, I heard it on, on I think it was on a movie, where he said, you know, we, we buy things we don't need so we can impress people that we don't even like. And, uh, you know, I, it, it just got me thinking about the whole issue of, of thankfulness. And I was watching this church leadership video, and he was talking about it, too. Um, and so I just I just started, you know, to think about this, you know, how to be happy. And and on, on YouTube, I've uploaded some a couple of videos on, on how to be happy and whatnot. But um, I just want to take a real brief minute uh, this morning to, to maybe encourage you. Um, the The biggest thing to be happy is to be thankful. Um, to be thankful for what you have, um, rather than focusing on the things you don't have, rather on, on focusing on the things that you wish you had, be thankful for the things that you do have. Um, you, you don't know what tomorrow will bring. You don't know, you know, if uh, if you'll lose something tomorrow or lose someone tomorrow or whatever. You don't even know what's going to happen in the course of, of this day. Um, really, the best way to enjoy your life um, is to be thankful. Um, really for even just the smallest of things and see this gets a little bit difficult when bad things happen but the trick is to respond to bad news with thankfulness now how do you do that well first off you redirect from thinking about the bad thing to thinking about something that you're you're happy about something that, that's a good thing another thing is you look for the good part of the bad news now see that's a little bit difficult because we train ourselves to look for the very worst in every situation but like so as an example let's say um let's say you get cancer terrible thing i mean those of you who have gone through cancer you know how difficult this is some days you just feel hopeless some days you feel like okay I, i'm gonna i'm gonna get up and go and then you realize that even though you're you know putting your 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 nose to the grindstone that you still have cancer and you know stuff like that it, it, it's it's hard to be thankful when you've got something so big and so glaring in your life and another thing is um when you lose someone um you know death is just such a terrible thing and when you lose someone from your life it's like how can i be thankful when i've lost this person but in every bad situation there's a good side to it in the book of Philippians, uh, Paul really really goes through a series of different bad things, but he just puts a positive spin on all the different things. And it's just amazing how he keeps his focus on on being thankful, even in the midst of, of, of times and, and situations that are very difficult to be thankful for. You know, for instance, let's say there's a there's a, just someone in your life who's just a pain in the butt. You you don't like being around them. You, ugh. Well, at least I can grow from this. Um well, maybe they don't have anyone in their life that uh, cares and loves for them, so maybe I can be that person. Um, you know, having this 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 person here is kind of helping me um, to learn how to be a better person to other people. Sometimes, you know, for instance, sometimes we're not the best of friends to other people, and we kind of expect everybody else to be good friends to us. And sometimes when we're surrounded by people who really aren't, aren't very nice to have around sometimes it reminds us um of you know how we can how we can be a better friend um as in the issue of having cancer i mean that's hard but keep in mind that other people are going through that too and when you go through something as tragic as, as cancer or sickness or diabetes or, or or death or whatever um you can relate to people who are going through that same thing on a whole new level um you know, there's just a good side to everything. Paul is imprisoned in Rome, and what, what is his response? It is strengthening you to go on and do the work of the ministry, and it's given me an opportunity to reach the um, the the Praetorian Guard that's here with me. So here he is in a, just a terrible situation, being in prison, and he's making he's not. It's not that he's making the best of it; it's that there's a good side of it that he's paying attention to. Now, I'm not telling you focus on the good that may someday come from it. Focus on the good right now that is in the situation. Um, what is the good side? What we do is we we make a 
a hypothetical situation. Well, maybe this is what will happen from this situation. Don't do that because then if, if, if the future doesn't go how you want it to, how you plan it to, then it's not going to make you happy. It's going to make you sad. But if instead you focus on the good situation that is current in your situation or the good side of, of, of your current situation, it'll be a lot easier um, – It'll be a lot easier to to roll with the punches because you're you're teaching yourself not to look on the bad side. You're teaching yourself to look on the good side, and right along with thankfulness is the idea of being content. So much of our lives is spent with just trying to get something else. You know, um, oftentimes when we have sickness or, or or some kind of difficulty, like maybe depression or something like that, we compare ourselves to other people. Well, they don't have that, and that makes that that is why we're not happy is because we're spending our time and our energy focusing on how other people in our eyes have it better than us. But I will tell you one thing. I've seen a lot of really, really, really happy people who ha who were in, in really, really bad situations. Um, I'm talking about people who had cancer, people who had you know mental issues, and, and, and they were some of the happiest people I've ever seen. And then I've seen other people who are in perfect health, had enough money, and they're just never happy. They always want more. They think that maybe if I get my hands on, on, on more money or – or on, on a better job, then I'll be happy. But to be truly happy, you have to be thankful. Thankful for what you have. Find the good side and the bad situation. And be content. And everything be content. You know, do I have clothes for today? Well, that's got to be good enough. You know, maybe maybe you're you're getting getting ready to get kicked out of your house or something. Now, that, that's a really hard situation. But remember, at least you still have your life. At least you still have, you know... Um, you know, I don't know exactly your situation, but surely you understand what I'm saying. Where find a reason to to be happy, to be thankful, and uh, thankfulness and contentment really go hand in hand if you really want to be happy. Um, and and when you when you take the time to be thankful every day, just take the time, stop your busy schedule, and just focus in on being thankful and being content with what you have. Um, you will have joy, and you will have peace. It's like Paul said, you know, with these things I will be content. You know, I, I, I have I have for today, and with these things, I would be content. Um, now, with that being said, there are some enemies to happiness. Now, these, no matter no matter how no matter how much they exist in your life, if you have them in your life, it will rob your happiness, and it will make you very unhappy. The first is comparing yourself to others. They have something that you want, maybe a car, a job, uh, belongings, money, uh, health. Uh, I mean, go down the list, family. Um, maybe it's more of a, um, like, you wish that you could have, like, their spouse or their house, you know, almost like wanting to take their place. Um, those kinds of comparing, it's just not, it's not going to, you're not going to be happy if you're spending so much time comparing. You know, oh, they really have it. You know, if I just had what they had, if, 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 if. This is you. This is the situation you were born into. And the things that you've experienced in your life have made you you. Now, what you do with that is up to you. See, we, some, of us, some of us don't have very long on this earth, and some of us have a very long time on this earth. But our job is to decide what to do with the time that we have. The second big enemy to happiness is complaining. When you're faced with hard situations, complaining about it. Complaining does absolutely nothing to fix the situation. Yes, your situation probably does suck, but there you don't have to complain about it. You don't have to focus on it. You don't have to tear yourself down all the time. Like, oh man, me and my spouse got it and got in a fight. So what do you do? You go and you stew about it and you tell yourself about how you know it was all their fault and stuff. And the third big enemy here to happiness is gossip. When you separate yourself from people and start talking behind people's backs and stuff, trying to make yourself feel better by tearing down someone else, that's something that's not actually going to make you feel very happy. Um, so with that, I want to focus on two more questions um, that you can just ask yourself. Uh, what are you focusing on? Uh, in Philippians, Paul tells us to to control our thoughts. Think about good things, not not bad things. And um, so, what are you focusing on? What are you What are you dedicating your 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 daytime to? Um, you know, you only have so many minutes in a day. Do you really want to allocate those minutes to something something as stupid as? Um, as negativity and, and just things that tear you down. Um, for instance, real bad about this is people who watch too much uh, Fox and CNN. They kind of get focused on one thing. They, they just go on and on and on about it. There's more to life than politics. There's more to life than, than problems. 
even if you're sick, even if you got like some serious sickness, there is more to life than your sickness, and never forget that. Um, I'm someone who struggled with depression and anxiety for years upon years, but I will tell you this: there's more to life than anxiety and depression, and that goes for anything in life that you're struggling with. Some of us have, have physical difficulties, some of us have emotional difficulties, some of us have mental difficulties. Whatever our situations are, um, we can find a reason to be thankful. And we must choose to be content. And then the second question, so the first question was, what are you focusing on? The second question is, are you guarding your heart and your mind? Don't let bitterness creep in. Don't just listen to everything that comes by. Guard your heart and guard your mind. Um, be careful what you let in. Be careful what you keep in. Always, always, always be careful about that stuff. And remember, if you want to be a thankful and happy person tomorrow, you have to work towards it today by being content and being thankful. I hope that this was uh, encouraging for you. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you later.